Shall I uh, rest waste paper bin? You should be at home. I'm fine. No, you're not, Anna. You may think you are, but you're not. What's happening, Lucy? Gary's got an older brother, Danny. Ma'am. He also has a father doing eight years for armed robbery. Aloysius Lee. Lee, not Parker. Marilyn hates him so much for the hammering he gave her mother, she changed hers and Gary's name by deed poll to Parker. The blag you went down for. An anonymous tip-off. From her? Apparently. Look at this. TDA, March 95, convicted Southwark, nine months suspended, ABH, dismissed, blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Suspected involvement, armed robbery, Hanningy, November 95. Yes. Right, that last one. Well done. Find out exactly what Danny's old man went down for, yeah? Can't we? You're not going to arrest me, are you? This new smoking room must be a bit of a drag. Yeah. I'll be banning booze and the Masons next. Then what will we be? Is that a police force? Yeah, exactly. Any news on our Aloysius show? Convicted for his part in armed robbery, Haringey in 1995. Right, so... Boy goes with Dad on a job. Dad goes down because of a tip-off. Boy gets off somehow. Well, he's got something to prove to his dad now, don't you think? What's this? Transfer request. You've only just got it. Long enough. It's not going to work out. Look, I didn't know Charlie Scott, but if this was his, his top squad, I think I'll pass. You know, you have got a bit of a revenue. A battler, a hard worker. I've read it with psychological assessments. A tough lady. I'm well, disappointed. Why? You going in a couple of weeks yourself. Ride a dare, fly in, cap the burning well and fly off. This squad has lost some good officers and it needs new ones. So why don't you stay? Think very carefully before you make this official. I thought I just had... Who gave the sorry order? What order? The order to arrest Danny Barker. So, what do you think? A hint of cooperation? Looks like it. You still on? Looks like it, but then I always was. That case request withdrawn. Well. I guess it's a start. If Naskins is desperate, he'll listen. Benson's convinced that Naskins killed Bears. I don't think he'll go for it. He will if he thinks it'll help nail him. Now, we need to put this thing to Naiskins, so someone's going to have to go undercover. Take your clothes off. <laughs> what? I'm a cautious man. You could be wearing a wire. I'm here to do business, Mr. Naiskins. I'm not some room service hooker. I'm sorry. Mr. Benson knows from Baz that you had the pattern blocks. He'll pay to get them back. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do, Mr. Neskins. Please don't waste my time. And who exactly am I talking to? You're talking to me. Show's over. Okay. Get dressed and leave. What about the deal? <laughs> Can you really afford to hang on to them? Mr. Benson's prepared to pay a substantial sum for the finale dress pattern alone. As I said, I'm a cautious man. Pattern blocks or no pattern blocks, Neskins is a killer. It's okay, Brian. Lucy. Don't do it, Brian. Think about Baz. I've got nothing left. Think about Baz. He wouldn't want you to die because of one of his mistakes, Brian. Thank you. Brian, listen, I don't know anything about fashion, but uh, I know about people. I interviewed your staff the past two days. You're well liked. Don't do this, Brian.
someone gave Benson the means, if that same person knew of his feelings for Baz, then the real killer could still be out there. Gov, stop it. You've got a nice, neat report to type up. Neskins is tied in with Ling, pressurised Baz, two murders explained, no court delays, prime suspect's dead. It's too neat, Lucy. Gov, that's it all logged. Do you want me to file it? Please. Oh, and Lucy. Anna told me about what you had to go through at Naiskin's hotel. Ms. I gave up caring what men thought might be years ago. You've gone across the road. Clive at celebrating. You don't like him, do you? A man's death is not a cause for celebration. Yeah, but that's not it. I heard him tell Naiskins he wanted the pleasure of watching him die. We all watched him die. Clivert knew of Ling's association with Naiskins, and he was the only person who knew of my meeting with Baz in Piccadilly. Stop it. Okay, my turn to be rational. You don't like him because he represents Charlie Scott, the ghost you've been trying to exercise. Until they give him up, they're still his squad, not yours. Anyway, where's your hard evidence? <laughs> okay. I give up. Grotty closed circuit TV. Didn't even record over the events the past ten days. Lovely close up of Clive, though. I've seen the looks you've been giving me, Lucy. Stop it. You talk to me? Look, I know what all this is about. You're jealous. <laughs> oh, I wish you would take the cork out your backside and face facts. You're as much in because the board fancies a new bit of skirt as anything else. If I were you, Lucy, I wouldn't bring this subject up. Oh, yeah? And why is that? People in glass houses and all that? What are you talking about? Look, everyone knows about you. Knows what? We could always settle this with you two in bikinis and a paddling pool full of mud. This is DCI Nick Hall. Excuse me. This has been a suspected terrorist heist. Location coming through. Well, do we all stand around with a cork up our backsides or should we go to work? Lucy? Do you know what I'm on this? I don't know, maybe. Is uh, Ted still on runaround? Yeah, I think so. Then get him on the radio. If my squad are going to go herring around doing their own sweet thing, I want to know exactly what sweet thing it is they're doing. He's with DCI Hall. Yes, I know. Gav, suppose there's something in all of this. Just get Ted on the blow, will you? <laughs> nice one, Ted. Woo! <laughs> well done, Tilly boy. Well done, Ted. The lab report confirms that the marquee was blown up with the P4 from the heist. So it looks like you're right, sir. Oh, just a long shot. Lucky to get away with it, really. What about these sewer rats? They're at a friend's funeral, end of story. We're releasing them. What about the Prevention of Terrorism Act? Surely we can keep them? No, we can't link them to the explosives, so they're the victims in this one. So who planted it? McQueen, I suppose. I don't get it. What was the motive? He was in Barker's gang in the 70s. Except he was totally out of control, so he ended up in the Nick, and Barker ended up in Sunny Cyprus. So who was the guy in the sewer? Neil Jason. McQueen must have got to him while they were doing time together. Tried to get him to stitch up his old boss. So who killed him? McQueen or Barker? They both had enough of a motive. One thing's for sure. Barker is back in the country, and McQueen is out for revenge. So how do we trace him? Camilla Barker. Is getting married tomorrow. And I think her old dad is going to be there. Maybe even McQueen. And I've got clearance for us to be there undercover. <laughs>